This may look like a regular neighborhood in India, with a teeming marketplace, loud street vendors, and haggling customers. But there is something about this place that makes it stand out. The people of Dindigal in Tamil Nadu have inherited a unique craft from their forefathers that have ensured security of many palaces, temples and treasures for several centuries. But with the advent of globalization, this tradition is losing patronage with only a few craftsmen holding on to their ancestral profession. For centuries, the district of Dindigal has been synonymous with lockmaking, handcrafted exquisitely by highly experienced craftsmen with skills passed on generations after generations. Once a hub for traditional lock manufacturing units attached to small houses, the village of Nallampatti now has only a handful of locksmiths, such as the 55-year-old Mohan. A specialist in crafting traditional mango-shaped padlocks, Mohan can produce up to four pieces per day, depending on the size and specifications. Bigger the size, longer the duration, with each part requiring great precision, finesse and attention to details. A typical dindigal padlock is made of 8 parts, but that changes if the lock requires additional features such as a master key security system, a double keyhole, a two key locking system or an anti-theft lock that flashes a sharp blade whenever a wrong key is inserted in the lock. Once you lock this, you can't unlock it straight away. The lock has to be released, inserting a release key in the secondary keyhole. Then by turning the main key, it gets unlocked. This is a master key locking system. It comes with a regular key and a master key. Once you lock using the regular key, you unlock it with a master key and lock it again. So to unlock it, you have to use the master key first and then the regular key. This is a dual key locking system. You use the number 1 key to lock and then double lock it with the number 2 key. You can't unlock it with the number 1 key unless you use the number 2 key first. With more than 40 years experience behind him, Mohan's work is not just confined to assembling the parts like other lockmakers. He also doubles as a blacksmith, forging the iron and fabricating the raw material himself. In the adjacent neighborhood of Nagalnagar, which is known for producing a variety of door locks, only around half a dozen manufacturing units operate now. Scraping, chiseling and mending the metal, Velaidam and his partner Armugam have been making brass and chromium door locks for 25 years. Taking over from his father and grandfather, it is the only craft Velaidam knows and he knows it well creating each piece of lock with the diligence and focus of an artist. Depending on the size and features, Velaidam needs at least half a day to create one piece of his artwork, with bigger pieces taking several days to complete. 
but it is not just the size and shape that make Tindigal locks special. It is the exceptional craftsmanship that has given them a unique luster and an enduring reputation. I have 30 years experience in lock making. I manufacture these box shaped locks. I enjoy doing this job. This brass lock weighs around 15 kilograms. It has a 5 mm thickness. It comes with a triple locking system, ideal for big temple doors, but it can also be used for other doors. We can customize it according to order. The other variety I have is this dual purpose lock. It can be used on either right or left side of any door. We also have chromium locks. All these are top quality locks with 30 years guarantee. All these locks are completely handcrafted. There is no involvement of machine. The price of big locks range between rupees 15 and 20,000. It takes one month to manufacture the big lock. The smaller one gets ready in a week. Masters as they are in their craft, Mohan, Velaidam and Armugam might be the last in their families to manufacture locks as their children have walked away from their ancestral trade, adopting more lucrative professions. However, not all lock-making families are staring at closed doors. Some of them, like the family of VNK Krishnamurti, have adopted modern methods, adapting to changing realities of the world. Krishnamurti's son, 36-year-old Challapandi, is the fifth generation to continue his family's lock-making tradition. Interestingly, the young man has injected the much-needed energy in the ailing industry of Dendigal, mixing the traditions with modern technology. I have been looking after this business for 20 years. My father has been in this trade for 50 years. Before that, my grandfather practiced this craft for 70 years. In my 20 years in this trade, business hasn't been as dull as it is now. It would have been better at least if the prices of raw material were lower. We introduced machinery 5 years back, earlier we were using manual methods. Our idea was to increase the production, though we have managed to achieve that, but our profit margins are very low. We work on the margins of 2-3%, to while the distributors get as high as 10%. Like Chellapandi's enterprise, Many industrialized government and private lock-making factories now operate in Dindigal. The industry even received a geographical indication tag recently from the government of India. But can partial automation or use of technology be the key to revival of this ancient trade? Will industrialization help unlock the fortunes of these struggling craftsmen? It is something only time will tell.